What's up everybody, I'm back with another YouTube video, and if you're new here, my name is John. I'm a washed up TikTok star who only used to be kind of famous because of his twin brother, but now I make videos on YouTube about healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence, so if that kind of stuff interests you, definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Today I'm just going to go over a quick review on these bad boys. These bad boys. These, can you focus? Okay. These are Mighty Pimple Patches by Hero. And these are the original ones. I know that there is several ones, like ones with salicylic acid and another one for dark spots. But this one is what I'm going to go over specifically. So this is just the original one just for pimples. And this has really saved my skin because now I don't have any urges to pop my pimples. When you pop your pimples, it increases the risk of causing acne scars and just more irritation. But now, instead of popping my pimples, I use this and this really helps me out from causing any more irritation so basically on you know how the pimple patches work you just cleanse your face first you make sure it's clean and then you dry it off and then after you cleanse then you treat it with the pimple patches you don't want to put the pimple patch on if your face is like really oily or moisturized so you should really cleanse your face first and then dry it off and then you can stick it on your one of your pimples because then that way it will stay on your face because if you try to apply it after you moisturize and doing other stuff like that it won't stick on your face and it won't effectively suck out all of the pus that's inside the whitehead so it sucks out all of the pus that's inside your pimple because of the ingredient hydrocolloid hydrocolloid I'm not sure if I pronounced that right what's with all these ingredients that are super hard to pronounce skincare you need to make your ingredients more pronounceable okay because of that ingredient, it sucks out all the pus instead of popping it yourself and squeezing it out. You just place one of these on there and it'll do the dirty work for you. But you have to place it on, like I said, clean skin after about six to eight hours. Then you pull it off and it's actually pretty effective. I like to put it on overnight. I do put it on in the day as well. It is clear. It'll blend in with your skin color. I like to put it on overnight because that's when I get my full six to eight hours of sleep. And so in the morning when I wake up and I look in the mirror and I see all of the white pus that it's actually sucked out. I'll just show a little picture here of one of the pimples that was actually the most pus that is actually collected out of it. This was the most amount of pus that it sucked out with one pimple patch. And it doesn't suck out that much on all of them. It depends on the size of the pimple and the white head and all that. But this was the most that I got out of it. And it was really satisfying. Even more satisfying than popping your pimple just because you know that you didn't irritate it. This is just a really good safer alternative as opposed to popping your pimples because everyone hates having those big blemishing whiteheads on their face. And it's really tempting to pop it and to try and get rid of all that crud. But instead of doing that, just pop one of these pimples. Just place one of these pimple patches on your whitehead and it will do all the work for you without you even lifting a finger. I really like these too because like I said I use it at night majority of the time but you can also use it in the day. If you're worried about kind of walking around with a big sticker on your face and people eyeing you down because of that and staring at you it really isn't all that noticeable. I mean I walked around the house with it for like hours and even my brother didn't even notice until I told him. It's pretty transparent so once you place it on your skin it will just blend in with your skin tone. It also kind of hides the the whitehead blemish and it also makes not just the whole sticker less visible but also the pimple underneath less visible as well just make sure that you put it on dry skin like i said because if you put it on wet skin it'll kind of collect all the moisture that's underneath and then it'll become noticeable and it'll also fall off a lot easier as well these are actually really durable because when i sleep at night i roll around a lot and these actually stay on my skin pretty good. I think out of all the times I've slept with these, only one of them came off my face because I kept rolling around too much. But other than that, 9 out of 10 times, it actually stays on my face no matter how much I move throughout the night. You shouldn't put it on all of your pimples. There is a specific condition it has to be in, specifically the whiteheads. It actually tells you on the box, on the backs of the box right here. You got to put it on your whiteheads, and if you just put it on any pimple, like... A pimple that's barely emerging and not ready to pop yet it's pretty much wasting a pimple patch because it hasn't reached the surface yet so it's not gonna properly collect all of the pus so yeah go and buy these instead of popping your pimples if you have a bad habit of popping your pimples just place one of these on it even if it's not ready to pop yet I still advise you to do it this can kind of act like as a little band-aid and so if you want to pick and touch at it 
you know, just instinctively, there's a pimple patch over it so you won't risk putting any more bacteria or other impurities inside the pore and make it the pimple a lot worse. Like for example, for me, I don't really have a bad habit of picking my pimples and popping them, but whenever I get a pimple up here, I tend to put a pimple patch on it even if it's not ready to pop yet because I do have long hair and I tend to push it back a lot and sometimes if I have a pimple right here around my hairline I'll actually touch the pimple and that could risk putting more bacteria and making the irritation worse so I just put the pimple patch on as a band-aid and so I can not risk irritating it. That's the only time I advise you to place the pimple patch on a pimple that's not necessarily ready to pop yet. If you do have a bad habit of popping and picking at your pimples or if it's at an area of your face like I said where I tend to run my fingers through a lot. Other than that, placing on your white heads is ideal so that you can effectively pull out all the pus and bacteria inside the pimple and you can help heal the skin and the pimple faster. So that was just my quick little review on the Mighty Pimple Patches. I use these a lot, especially since I work in a hot blazing kitchen and so I'm just bound to break out every now and then like I do have a few breakouts right now so yeah if you're prone to breakouts like me then these are a necessity or even if you don't break out a lot these are just really good to have around just in case overall these are just really good pimple patches and I haven't tried any other pimple patches in terms of the other brands besides these I think these are the best ones because I read the reviews on them and these seem to have the best results if you're gonna use these I will link them in the description below but just remember to always cleanse your skin first and then place it on the pimple area to get the full effect. After you place it on, wait 6 to 8 hours and then you'll actually see all the pus that is collected through the sticker. Then you can pull it off. If you need to apply another one, then apply another one. But most of the time, one would just do just fine. I actually made a little tutorial on how to properly treat your pimples without popping them. And this was one of the products I used. So once you're done watching this video, definitely go check that one out because then you can see exactly how I use this product to get the best results. The link to this will be in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission, but I do encourage you to use that link because it does help on my channel a little bit and it will definitely help me out to continue to make videos for you guys. All right, so that was my quick little review on the Mighty Hero Patches. I just really had to make a review on this because this really helped me out. This is essential to my skincare routine. And I just think this should be in everyone's skincare routine as well. So that was it for this video. I hope you learned something valuable today. And I hope you learned something from my mistakes to better yourself. But until then, I will see you in the next one.